So we're doing our first wash on our 88 Chevy 1500 Project Playboy. A lot of you guys called us out for a few different reasons. Yes, we really got this truck for 3,000 bucks. Yes, the way that we found it is the way that we found it. The guy we bought it from, he is a fan of ours. He didn't know we were shooting the video, so I can't be certain that he didn't prep it up for us a little bit, but that is how we found it. The truck was 3,000 bucks. This is our first wash. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna show you the renderings. We're gonna talk about the parts that we're doing. August 7th and 8th, it gets a complete rebuild. So stay tuned. We're gonna keep washing this thing. If anybody wants anything out of it, except for the magazines, let me know. already pretty good. Let's check this. Yep, I'll take those off. So as you can see, even these pieces are messed up. So we're just gonna yank them off, take off this glue. We're gonna end up rhino lining the whole bed once we get rid of all this junk. So it works is gonna appreciate us cleaning it really good for him, that's for sure. I'm gonna take this bed off and prep this frame today also. we want to kind of go over we all talked about the paint color some people said it was factory some people said it was custom so we did a few different things we checked out the paint code 9008 unfortunately that's black so the truck was black 9150 this is our interior color and that's gold all the interior is gold so this truck was black and gold this is not the original paint color even though Everything has been painted everywhere. But there's a few other things that show it. See right here? Got some overspray, some blue overspray, so that makes it obvious it was a repaint. And then also you can see these rubber bump stops. These are usually black. So the fact that these are painted makes it obvious this truck is not a factory paint color. They did an amazing job on it though, that's for sure. But not factory, very well done, but we're gonna keep it because we like it.
get rid of all this junk. Get one of these rubber wheels off Amazon. Let me get all this stuff cleaned out too. Hmm.
we're definitely going to get rid of this speaker system we actually are going to be replacing it all with stinger audio audio control pieces so it's going to be a fun system okay so the truck is going on a seventh and eighth to saltworks fabs but before then we want to show you all the parts and pieces we're going to do and the plans that we're going to do for it first of all we're going to be replacing the bumper front bumper and valance with parts from lmc and this is a uh a bumper with no lights no air dam in the front of it so you can see how clean it is nice sporty look Heavy too. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, that's the bottom. Church. So that'll be a good looking bumper, and then this is going to be the valance that'll go underneath this. I'll pop this up. How cool is that? Metal, too. Yeah, it's metal. Heavy duty metal. That's so it goes just like that. That you can't see. Yeah. An extension of that. Yeah. So we're gonna knock the bed. We're gonna take the bed off in just a little bit here. We're gonna we're gonna clean up the frame and make it nice and clean before we take it over to the shop because the shop's a real high end fab shop indoors. They're not gonna be want to be coating this stuff. So I want to show you guys what KBS offers for frame coating. You saw the degreaser earlier, and then this is gonna be your pre paint primer. It comes with the spray bottle. And this is a cavity wand. The cavity wand is so you can spray inside of the frame rail. And then they also sent us some of their thinner to clean it out. We have, this is the uh, cavity coater. So this you add the wand to and you can spray inside of the frame rail to get the inside of the frame coated. And we have a bunch of undercoating stuff to be able to do some pieces like the bottom of the cab or the bottom of the bed. So this is all from KBS Coatings. They even send you a little mask so you can clean, so you can be safe. So all this stuff came from KBS Coatings. If you guys remember, we used this stuff on Project Rocky. We did the full brush setup on the frame. Came out really, really good. Uh, check that video if you haven't seen it yet. But we're gonna do the frame rails on this. We'll pop the bed off, do the frame rails, put it back on, we'll do the underside of the bed, and then we're gonna take it over to Saltworks. So when they take it off and they go to do the C-notch, everything will be nice and clean and they don't have to worry about doing it inside the shop. KBS Coatings, I really like their stuff. We recommend you guys try it out. All right, so we're gonna go through some of the other stuff we ordered from LMC. Not only are we replacing the bumpers, the roll pan, the rear glass, the suspension with all new Ride Tech coilover setup. We're doing performance online brakes, full disc brake conversion all the way around. And we're doing a set of 19 and 20 inch shot wheels. Those are gonna be here today. We're really excited to see them. So we wanna go through some of these parts and pieces from LMC, including new headlights. Brand new tail lights, full housing. Just pop in the lights, you're set. It's not just a front clear panel, it's a full housing. Brand new seat belts. This truck's seat belts are pretty worn out. So LMC sends a full direct bolt-in kit with nice gray seat belts. It's gonna look nice. Really changed the interior quite a bit. Third brake light. Really heavy duty, really, really nice piece. So we'll slap, slap that on there. This is sun visors. So we are replacing pretty much all of the interior, but it's gonna be basically with factory replacement parts. So we got new gray sun visors. They pop right in. Real easy to install. If you notice, I'm sweating because we're in Florida. It's so humid out here. It's ridiculous. New sill plates for the interior. There's more of the orange lights. These are all the bulbs that we're going to need. <clears throat> the headlight bulbs, third brake light bulbs. So these are all the bulbs that we need. Everything direct from LMC is 
all the carpet. Now this is the back piece for the carpet. If you remember from the blue truck, we replaced all that. And we're gonna put DEI padding underneath it. So it's nice and cool on the inside. And then we have a full gray carpet kit to go inside. So we're gonna replace all the carpet, all the sill plates, visors, headliner, and uh, seat belts and everything. We haven't decided what we're gonna do with the seats exactly yet. The seats are blue. OBS truck, but not the right ones for these. So we might replace them with a black seat or something, maybe the gray. All right, so the final piece from LMC that we're gonna replace is the headliner. If you, cheat, if you see, LMC will ship you an entire headliner. Nice fiberglass backing. Gray piece, it's all molded. It just clips right in, beautiful piece. All the carpet colors match, sun visors match still play matches. So LMC truck, if you guys got some messed up interior on your OBS truck, they have pretty much everything you need. They even have the dashboard for 88 to 94s. Our dashboard isn't cracked other than one spot. We'll get that one piece from LMC, but all these interior pieces are gonna make this truck look unbelievably new and unbelievably nice. So we're excited to do that, but first we gotta get the suspension done. All right, so for the rear, we're gonna take off the bumper. We're gonna do a roll pan. I know a lot of guys are saying bumpers are the way to go nowadays, but for this particular truck, the 80s Miami style project Playboy, we think it needs a roll pan. So, we are order one direct from LMC. We're gonna take off this bumper. We'll install this roll pan from LMC. It's got a tag box in it, so we don't have to worry about the license plate being gone. And this is a bolt-in roll pan. We're gonna bolt it in now, paint it, get it bolted in. We'll end up welding it on later on. And that'll be all set. Final thing we wanna talk about is this rear glass. We're gonna take this glass out because we got a little bit of rust down here. We're gonna fix that rust. The seal's bad. So we went and got a new glass from LMC Truck. Comes extremely well packed. going to be the pre-cut molding kit for the glass. And here you can see brand new rear glass 88 to 98 directly from LMC. Alright if you guys remember for the first video remember we had some Edelbrock pieces in here already so we decided to order some Edelbrock items to be able to upgrade this motor make it more reliable. The main thing is we're going to do a fuel injection system. That's going to be the Pro Flow 4. I don't have that yet but once we get it we'll definitely show it to you guys. But what we did get is a new air cleaner. This is their Elite Series air cleaner. It's really really cool looking. Very nice piece. Very excited to install this to replace the air cleaner that's on there. Still says Edelbrock. So we're still sticking true to the, to the truck. They even sent us some shirts, so that's kind of cool. And a banner, so today we'll have to hang up the banner in the shop. And a hat. But other than that, we're also gonna replace the valve covers. These are some really nice valve covers. Really nice design. These aren't even really that expensive if you look into it. But the design of them, really, really nice. The black on the inside has the logo on it, the air vents on it. So we're gonna install those on the engine. We'll install the air cleaner right when we get the Pro Flow uh, fuel injection system. And then we have just a couple little breathers and stuff like that, all from Edelbrock. So first we'll do the suspension, then we'll jump on the interior, and then we'll get the engine done. And then it's on to the next part. All right, so we wanna take this bed off so we can get the frame nice and clean and coated. We wanna do that for the SaltWorks guys. Oh yeah, that is, that is some good stuff right there. That's how the pros do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, more coat hanger. Goodness. So we gotta get this bolt out here, the bolt's so bad.
18 it is. All the way up? Yep, can you move I think, uh, all right, got the hitch out, got all the bolts out. There are actually one, two, three, four, five, six, eight bolts total holding the bed in. Oh, uh, yeah, there is another thing we need a gas for. Yep. So the other thing we gotta remove, get these bolts out of here so the gas door is no longer attached. We're gonna make you guys jealous in a minute here, all you guys that are yanking the bed off in your backyard with all your buddies. Watch this. All right, bed is off, and this is the front. factory OBS frame with some mud bodies. Spider, spider egg. Is that what that is? Yeah. Mm. Burn it down. So we're just gonna clean and paint this frame, put the bed back on. We're gonna be doing a C notch here and a complete four link kit. Now let's get this thing clean. Spider eggs. So now that we got it clean, we're going to use our KBS all-purpose cleaner degreaser to pour it in there, spray it on. It's making quite a big difference already, look at the frame. Looking good. It's gonna look amazing after we coat it. KBS stuff. This stuff works pretty good. We're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. We don't want it to dry completely though, so keep it under the canopy. 
Let it sit for about 20 minutes, rinse it off. Start taping everything off with some paint. All right, we're getting ready to put some paint on there, but before we do, remove Dave's amazing OBS. Got the bottom side of the cab all cleaned up, pressure cleaned, greased, degreased. So now we're gonna paint bottom side of the cab, paint the entire frame, have this thing all ready for the guys that saw it works. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and do the paint. We're using KBS Rust Seal Paint Over Rust. Pretty cool stuff. We're gonna spray it on. They recommend 10% paint thinner, so we're gonna mix it in the bucket so it's already ready to go. We're spraying at 45 PSI. It recommends 35 to 45, so we're gonna go 45 since it's thin. And we're just gonna go do a coat. Okay, we're all complete. The frame is fully coated. Looks amazing, as well as the bottom side of the bed. We completely cleaned it and coated it with KBS rust seal. Looks great. Can't wait to attach the two together, but you gotta let it dry first. So the moment you've been waiting for are here are the official renderings for Project Playboy. It's gonna be a fun one.